In this lesson, we'll continue our review of writing test nine, section two. We're now on the second passage out of four. Free public transportation. City planners concerned about vehicle traffic clogging their city's roadways are trying to find ways to get people out of their cars and onto buses and trains. One radical proposal some planners have considered is to make public transportation free to passengers. While fare free policies do increase ridership, but they have not been found an effective way to address traffic problems. Moreover, these policies may result in serious budget shortfalls. And so number 12, we have this subordinating conjunction. While fare-free policies do increase ridership, comma, and then we have a conjunction, but you never can have a subordinating conjunction like a because or even though or although to start a sentence, and then which creates a dependent clause. And then after the comma, you have a conjunction. The only sub part of speech you can use after a comma with a, a subordinating conjunction, a dependent clause in this case, is going to be a noun or a pronoun. That's it. We already have the contrast in the while. So let's read it now. While fare-free policies do increase writership, comma, they, what's the they referring to? That's a plural subject. That is policies have not been found to be an effective way to address problems. So definitely remember noun or pronoun after the comma for the subordinated conjunction and the subordinate clause. So the answer is just C, right? Get rid of the conjunction, ridership, comma, they. Question 13, so this is a new paragraph. Not surprisingly, public transportation is used by more people when people do not have to pay a fare. And question 13, we want effectively the most effective version of this underlying part. So right away from reading it, public transportation is used by more people who do not have to pay a, a fare. So people is, is used twice, and this is used. This is not the most direct way of saying it. Remember, we, we talked about the difference between the passive and the active voices. Active voice is preferred where the subject is directly performing the action. Instead of saying public transportation is used, what about just saying the people use? So let's look at the choices here, and we don't want to repeat people twice. So not surprisingly, let's take a look at B, more people. So here's the subject, and we have the verb, use public transportation if they do not have to pay a fare. This looks good because people's only used once. The people, that's the subject, directly performing the action. C, if people do not have to pay a, for, a, pay a fare, more of those people, again, it's repetitive. Using public transportation is, so that's another passive voice. We want the active voice, and the answer is B. All right, let's continue. So I'm going to read through this, and then we've got a couple of questions at the end. According to a report by the Center for Urban Transportation Research, <clears throat> excuse me, public trans transit systems that abolish fares typically see a short-term increase in ridership, about 50%. However, this increase does not necessarily correlate with a decrease in car traffic. Evidence, evidence suggests that when buses and subways are free, people often take the tr bus and train trips they would not have taken otherwise while still using their cars nearly as much as they did before. In 2013, Tallinn, Estonia instituted fare-free rides for city residents, becoming the largest city in the world to do so. But car use in Tallinn only slightly decreased or declined semicolon, as a 2014 study by the KTH Royal Institute of Technology in Sweden found that car traffic in Tallinn was down less than 3% since it was enacted. So you have a couple of questions, 14 and 15. Let's take a look at 14, but car use in Tallinn has only slightly declined, semicolon, as a 2014 study. All right, a semicolon is only used to separate two independent clauses. We certainly don't have an independent clause after the after declined and if you think about it what is after declined so we have this is an independent clause in 2013 Tallinn Estonia instituted fare free rides for city residents this you can cross out it's a non essential clause just extra information but car use in Tallinn only slightly declined so this is a complete sentence and even though in 2013 the city Tallinn instituted this fare free rides the use in the city only slightly declined. And then we have some information in 2014, this study done about Tallinn, specifically was down less than 3%. This is extra information that's almost a little bit more specific to what we had up above. So here it mentioned that Tallinn instituted, but now we have specifically 
not just declined, but we have more evidence. The study was conducted to show it was down less than 3%. And this is extra information. This is a dependent clause. We definitely need a colon, right? A colon has always follows a independent clause. And then after it gives a little bit more extra information. And so the answer for this one is just declined with a colon. Remember, colon usage is tested on the exam. Just remember the rule. And question 15. This is the end of this paragraph. In Sweden found that car traffic in Tallinn was down less than 3% since it was enacted. What's the it? This is, they're referencing to the policy in Tallinn, but the it really is ambiguous. And so you need to get rid of the it and put the subject just like that and one. It's really kind of unclear. You want to put the subject here. And so the answer is D.